it's always cool to see pictures of Mustangs still in the factory plastic, pictures that were taken back when they were new, especially with the older Mustangs like the New Edge or SN95 cars. Because let's face it, back then people weren't walking around with phones that had really good cameras on them. So to get a picture like this, someone had to physically bring a camera into work and take the pictures and so it's kind of something that we take for granted now because anybody can just whip out a phone and take a picture but back then it wasn't so readily available and so I'm very glad somebody took these pictures because it's fun to see in this example a bullet Mustang or a pair of bullet Mustangs that were ready to be shipped out so I had some fun studying these pictures for a minute it's easy nowadays with so many pictures online to just skim through and see things and not really look at the details. But I was looking at each of these cars and obviously the first thing that I noticed about this bullet Mustang was it was missing the hood scoop. And I don't know if that's because maybe they just hadn't had enough of them painted in Dark Highland Green yet to put on because from what I understand the hood scoops were painted in a different place than the cars and sometimes the bumpers are painted in a different place and then put on um, something I recall if I'm correct was the side scoops on the bullet Mustangs were actually painted on the cars and so that's something interesting to look at because you're looking at the car and say well the hood scoops missing but the side scoops in there but if I recall I think the bullet Mustangs actually went down and they were the first Mustangs to actually have the side scoops painted on the car because the other Mustang GTs had bigger scoops on the sides and the V6 had kind of a half scoop there with honeycomb in it. Uh, so kind of cool to see that and just wonder why is this bullet missing the hood scoop. And maybe it's coming later. Maybe it got damaged. That's always a mystery because the car next to it has the hood scoop on it. But I like looking at the plastic on the seats and the tags on the door and uh, the paper on the front of the nose of the car there and little labels. It's so cool to see it getting ready to be shipped out. So here's the other car and it has the hood scoop on it and it doesn't look like it has plastic over the seats but if you look at the cars you will notice that they do have all the bullet specific pieces such as the pony in the grill that has the black corral around it as opposed to the chrome ring around the horse that the GT and V6 Mustangs had and you can see the C pillars and glass are correct I've heard that bullet Mustangs and Mach 1's have escaped the factory with the incorrect pieces on them at times and so that's kind of interesting to see but looking good looks like the bullet wheels brakes everything's there of course um, pretty fun to see and I believe these were some of the earliest bullet Mustangs produced here's a cool picture of a couple of bullets on a train getting ready to be unloaded and it's neat to see how they package these cars with the plastic over the hood that the other cars didn't have in the other picture and I've heard that a lot of times that plastic is to keep rail dust from getting in the clear coat and if you look closely at this picture you'll see that there's a little bit of red plastic or tape on the very corner of the bumper there and I actually saw a 5,000 mile bullet that I, I actually got to test drive it and when I was driving around in it, I noticed that it had a little bit of blue plastic coming out that was still there from when it was new. And so I don't know why it would have had blue instead of red or if they changed things. That's always fun to get into the details if anybody knows the details about that and say, oh, you know, special T Mustangs had the red or maybe they ran out of the red. Who knows? But kind of cool to see it on a rail car like that. These are very neat pictures. There are a couple more pictures of the bullets off the train and this actually reminds me of a cool story my friend's dad ordered a black Mach 1 brand new and he got special permission to go to the rail yard in Salt Lake City and get the car from the train and so it never went to the dealership it never got prepped he got to go get the car so that reminds me of that story and whoever was here to do this got to see some pretty cool history with the first bullet Mustang showing up so here's a couple of bullet cars and I don't think these were the ones in the original pictures we were looking at before. Hard to tell but you can see a little bit of red tape on 
the bumper where it meets the hood on the left side there or the passenger side and it looks like they probably had the hood scoops on them hard to tell with the plastic on them but you can see the plastic even got a little beat up in the train so kind of interesting to see there's plastic on the seats and a green sticker in the top right it would just be so cool to have been able to see these cars show up like this and take the plastic off them I would have saved the plastic but I know a lot of dealerships just chuck it because they're going to have so much of that accumulated. It's not like they have any reason to keep it, but it's so cool. You can see the window sticker on that other one, and it's got more plastic on the door and on the quarter panel and the red tape uh, by the, or plastic or whatever it is, between the uh, bumper and fender. I'd imagine that's to keep it from scratching when they're installing the bumpers onto the cars so that there's just a little bit of um, buffer there. And... Uh, Dark Highland green car, pretty cool to see. Another green sticker, not as far up as the other one was. Here's a cool picture to see. It's actually a true blue Mustang Bullet on the left and a dark Highland green on the right. Both cars look like they have the same stickers and tags on them. Of course, the true blue Bullet is special to me because I own one of these, one out of 722 produced. And so, really neat to see a blue one and it looks like it has the blue plastic where the quarter panel and the back bumper meet by the tail light there and just the factory plastic for shipping the car it looks pretty cool love to see a true blue car and here's the dark highland green car it actually looks like it has white plastic where the bumper and the quarter panel meet by the tail light there and the little foam pads there on the door where you open the door so that it doesn't hit things. I think that's what it's for, but really cool to see a green bullet there. And here's another shot of the two of them. Obviously the camera wasn't very great quality. The color looks a little washed out, but it's really cool to see the blue bullet on the left and the green bullet on the right with all the plastic on them. That must have been exciting for whoever got these cars. So over 20 years ago, here we have some pictures that survived. Really fun to see, so I just wanted to share these with everybody and just look them over. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more Mustang content.